This chart shows throughput for sparse and dense networks running on a Xilinx LVO U250 board. Since we're using the GSC dataset, the inputs are words, so our throughput metric is number of words processed per second. Our best sparse network configuration contains 20 sparse network copies on one LVO U250 board. It can process data at 625,000 words per second, which is more than 50 times faster than the dense implementation on that platform. Here we show a case where we give the dense network a head start. Specifically, we let the dense network run for five minutes before running the sparse network. Even with this five minute delay, once it starts, it only takes five seconds to catch up and surpass the dense network. This chart shows throughput on three different FPGAs, showing a variety of dense and sparse configurations. Since some configurations can have multiple networks on chip, we show single network throughput as well as overall throughput numbers. As we saw previously, the best sparse network configuration with 20 network copies on an LVO U250 can process data more than 50 times faster than the dense implementation on that platform. Interestingly, on the smaller Zinc ZCU-104, the sparse configuration is over 12 times faster than the dense configuration. The overall system speedup is due in part to the speed of a single sparse network, which can process more than 27,000 words per second, combined with the fact that we can fit three sparse networks on this chip. In the case of the smallest chip, the Zinc ZU-3EG, the dense GSC network cannot fit on that system. The sparse network, however, is significantly smaller, and thus we can fit a single sparse network on that platform. The throughput of that single sparse network on the small chip is 1.7 times faster than the total throughput of four dense networks running on the powerful LVO U250, roughly 21,000 words per second on the zinc chip versus roughly 12,000 words per second on the LVO board. This opens up whole new product categories where ultra-small, energy-efficient, embedded platforms can run deep learning-based applications without compromise. In our last chart, we look at power consumption, which is rapidly becoming the most important criterion in measuring the efficiency of deep learning systems. This chart shows how much power, measured in watts, each network uses to process the GSC dataset. Knowing that different chips make different power performance trade-offs, we wanted to compare the most efficient dense configuration to the most efficient sparse configuration. The most efficient dense configuration in terms of power usage is the ZCU-104, but it still uses 26 times more power than the most efficient sparse configuration. In other words, the 20 network sparse configuration on the LVO-U250 is 2600% more power efficient.